friends, today is day two of Lent. We are counting down 40 days leading up to celebrating Jesus' resurrection at Easter. Super exciting. And we're taking these 40 days to focus on who Jesus is, why he came, and what that means for how we live our lives now. We're reading from the Easter storybook, 40 Bible stories showing who Jesus is. This book is by Laura Ritchie and it's illustrated by Ian Dale. Today is day two, beloved son. Our story today is actually found in four parts of the Bible, Matthew 3, Mark 1, Luke 3, and John 1. So if you have your counting down the days of Lent prayer strips, you're going to want to tear off day number two and spend some time in prayer after our reading. You will go before the Lord to prepare his ways to give knowledge of salvation to his people and the forgiveness of their sins because of the tender mercy of our God. Luke 1, 76 through 78. John, the son of Zechariah, had been born about the same time as Jesus. When he grew up, he became a prophet. Prophets spoke messages from God and John had a very important message. He told everyone the Messiah was coming to rescue them from their sins. Many people came to hear John's message and he baptized those who wanted to be clean and free from their sins, putting them under the waters of the Jordan River and pulling them back up again. John told everyone that people are broken and can't love, but the Messiah was coming to help people love. Jesus was more than a prophet. He was the Messiah. And when the time was right, Jesus went to see John. John saw Jesus coming and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. John 1, 29. John believed. Jesus asked John to baptize him. John refused at first because he knew Jesus was holy. He was all good and no bad. Jesus didn't need to be baptized and cleansed from sin. But Jesus knew God's plan that one day, Jesus would take all of our sin onto himself. He would die in our place like a lamb given as a sacrifice. John baptized and cleaned with water. But Jesus would make people new with God's spirit. So John baptized Jesus. And when he did, the heavens were opened. John saw God's spirit come down to rest on Jesus like a dove. And he heard God's voice say, This is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Matthew 3.17 Jesus, the promised son, came to make all things good and new again. He came to heal broken friendships and free us from sin. The Messiah came to help us love God, love each other, and love all of creation. Because that's what we were created to do. What does sin do? Sin breaks your friendship with God and with others. And there's no way that we can fix that on our own. And what's amazing is that when Jesus came and lived a perfect life as the Messiah, as our Savior, he took that sin that breaks our relationships, he took it on himself. And he got rid of it, washed it away. And because of that now, we can have friendship with God and true, real friendship with each other. Have you ever thought about being baptized? It's actually something that people do when they believe in Jesus, just like Jesus did. You go down in the water like you're being buried, like your sin is being buried, and you raise up like Jesus did on the cross and like how we have new life in him. If you're interested in learning more about baptism, would you ask your mom or dad if you can come and have a conversation with me? 
You can send me an email, we can talk on the phone, we can meet over Zoom. We also have a class here at the church called Discover Baptism. I would love to tell you more about how baptism is a sign of the work that Jesus has done in our heart when we believe in him. I am so excited, excited to keep talking over these 40 days about who Jesus is, why he came, and what that means for you and me.